All right, so the last thing we're going to do is look at a couple log problems. Now we're going to look at some log problems that are a little bit, involve a little bit of condenting before we solve. So if we look at this first one here, we've got um, log base 9 of x minus 10 plus log base 9 of 8 is equal to 1. So in order to switch forms, we need to have one log. We can't switch forms when there's two, so we're going to just condense these. Now addition, if you remember, means that we're going to multiply. So if we multiply these together, we've got log base 9. It only works if the bases are the same, and they are. And then I'm going to put the 8 first just because I prefer to put that first. Um, so 8 times x minus 10. We just took what was out, uh, our resulting pieces, our x minus 10, our 8, and multiplied them together. So that equal to 1. So I'm going to distribute those. Log base 9 of 8x minus 80. And set that equal to 1. And now I'm going to switch forms. So I have a base of 9. My exponent's 1. So that equal to 8x minus 80. And then I'll add the 80 over. So I have 89 is equal to 8x divided by 8. So x is equal to 11.125. Okay, next example. We've got log base 9 of 3 minus log base 9 of x plus 6 is equal to 2. So now we have a subtraction sign, which really means that we're going to divide. So when we do this, we're going to combine these log base 9 of 3 over x plus 6. Remember, that just means division. Subtraction means division. Equal to 2. And now we can switch forms. So 9 squared, because base is 9, logs are equal to exponents, equals 3 over x plus 6. I'll solve that and get 81 over 1, because I want to cross multiply here. So when I cross multiply, I get 81 times x plus 6. You can multiply that through if you want, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to go right ahead and divide by 81 now. 81. So I have x plus 6 is equal to 3 over 81. And then I will subtract the 6. So let's go x plus 6 is equal to 0 0.0370, zero, subtract 6, I get negative 5.9630 for my final answer for that one. All right, let's look at, a, let's look at one more, another uh, subtraction one. So if we have log base 6 of 4x minus log base 6 of 2 is equal to 2, well, the subtraction means I need to divide. So log base 6 of 4x over 2 and log base 6, 4 divided by 2 is 2x. So you can always simplify that if you can. Now I'll switch forms. 6 squared is equal to 2x. 36 equals 2x. So x is 18. All right, let's do, let's, let's do one last one. So if I've got um, log base 7 of 4 plus log base 7 of 6, no, 4 minus x squared is equal to 1, I do need to condense first. So I'll have log base 7 of 4 times 4 minus x squared. Wow. Smart board doesn't like me right now. Uh, minus x. Nope, that's still bad. Minus x. Wow. Log base 7. Totally not cool. Log base 7 of 4 times 4 minus x squared. I'll multiply that through. Log base 7 of 16 minus 4x squared. 
7 to the first power equals 16 minus 4x squared. Add the 16 over, sorry, subtract the 16 over. So if I subtract 16, I get negative 9 equals negative 4x squared. Divide by negative 4. So I have 9 over 4 is equal to x squared. When you take the square root of something, that means that you're going to have two answers, plus or minus. So finally, I'll have plus or minus three halves. So please notice that you have two solutions because you started with an x squared. The fundamental theorem of algebra says that if we have two, a degree of two, we're going to have two solutions.